Hello and welcome to SBS Academy once again. Thank you for your love and support. Today's lesson is a continuation of the previous one. So if you haven't watched the last video yet, find the link in the description box and watch it to have a complete understanding of today's lesson. Follow this content till the end for the final takeaway of the illustrative notes and real life examples of the concepts discussed here. Okay. May might can. May might can. Right? Again this depends whom you are talking to. Whether it is a formal context or an informal context. Now, whenever we are using the word can can is often used informally and with persons who are closer to your rank. Suppose you are asking a close friend of yours, can I borrow your pen? So whenever you are talking to a close friend, you need not be so formal, right? But suppose you are at the bank and you forgot to carry a pen. So you meet a stranger who has also come to the, ba uh, to, to the bank for some work and you ask that person. Uh, may I borrow your pen? So that is the difference. That is a formal. That's a formal context. So again, this is called the degrees of usage of modal. The degrees of possibility, the degrees of formality. And it dictates which modal verb you are going to use for what. It dictates the purpose of the modal verbs. It dictates the communicative usage of the modal verb. So, suppose you are uh, talking to the principal of your school and you are requesting something. Ma'am, uh, can I get some time off for my cricket practice? That's not an appropriate way of communication. Ma'am, may I get some time off for my cricket practice? That is a more polite, that is a more formal way of expressing. Um, what you are trying to communicate to an appropriate person maintaining the decorum of the context. This is very very important for communicative grammar. So make sure that the grammar that you are learning they are not only appropriate but appropriate in your um, examination results or in your class notebooks right but they should also be ap appropriate whenever you are talking in a real-time situation, in a proper conversation in real life with real people so that the other person does not get offended. If so, the other person will have an impression that you lack good manners. That is extremely essential for today's world. This lesson is about the use of models in formal conversation in business context with proper decorum. Making requests in varying degrees of politeness and seeking permission with respect are achieved through using models like can, will, could, would, may, might. Corporate conversations are made through polite interrogative sentences or questions. The difference in the usage of this category of models lies only in the degrees of formality and politeness, where the use of can is the least polite and formal, while the use of might is the most polite and formal. Subjects of formal conversations using models of this category could be seeking permission from manager for leave, requesting a colleague for backup, requesting client for extension in deadline, seeking permission from the team lead for remote work, a semi-formal exchange with the security personnel or the facilities manager at the canteen, cafeteria, restroom or at the entry gate. The example discussed here shall make it clear. Don't forget to take the screenshots to have them on record during, during your exams. Thank you for watching our videos. Keep supporting SB's Academy but by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Share the videos if you like the content and leave your valuable feedback in the comments. 
Don't forget to press the bell icon for receiving notifications about our new videos. If you are watching the video from our Facebook page, do not forget to like and follow SB's Academy for updates on new videos and upcoming courses. Happy learning!